Hey guys, how's it going? Today we have another Your Shop episode, which I'm really excited about. This one's a lot different than we've done before because we had some tech issues. And so uh, during this recording, uh, everything recorded except for my voice. Uh, this has never happened before. I don't know what happened. Um, we figured it out afterwards, uh, which is of course frustrating, but this episode is just going to be different than usual for that one reason. So um, it's cool because this episode is different than any that we've done before in that we actually did a shop expansion, moved a bunch of stuff around, talked about what he should be doing and made changes to his gameplay while we were talking and then it didn't record. And so for the first five minutes or so of this, it's basically just going to be him talking through what he does, his situation, uh, his gameplay, that sort of thing. And then in the last few minutes, he actually um, expands his shop and we talk through different things and he kind of changes what he's crafting, changes his shop layout, a whole bunch of stuff. And um, so basically for the first few minutes, we're going to watch through this one together. And then once that's done, I'll pause it as we're making changes and kind of explain the things that we were talking about and why we made the changes that we did. Um, so I know this is weird um, and it's awkward with voiceover and stuff. So Here's his monologue part, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for your guys' understanding, and let's get to it. Right, are you all right, guys? Uh, it's Nicole, and yeah, like Rob said, I'm uh, on the stream quite a bit and on videos and stuff, but yeah, I'm really uh, happy to be featured in your shop. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like, I get my Royal Merchant, and I bought a couple of the packs as well. Uh, I mainly bought my Avatar's little helmet hat type of thing just because I thought it was cool. Yeah, um, well, I have two different, like, layouts for my shop, really. Like, at the minute, it's currently set up for selling. So I normally get some um, tier six and below as, like, Forter type of items just to discount. And then tier seven and above, um, mostly tier eight and nine, I will surcharge. Um, just to get my money back, but at the minute I'm not really making um, like profit wise or anything like that with you know discounting and surcharging because at the minute I'm just focusing on my net worth. Like if I'm AFK a little bit throughout the day, I can start crafting. At the minute I do have just my um, herbs out just to craft these runes because I've got a little a little method on um, on making gems basically there. So as you can see, I haven't got the 8th or ninth expansion. And quite a lot of people at my level um, normally have them bits. And I know you can make a lot more money. Um, but yeah, that'll give me more energy as soon as I unlock them. So I've just been grinding to get that 4,000, which I've just achieved. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was actually waiting for this video to unlock it, to be honest. Hopefully it's not too laggy. Yeah, it would have, I, I would have had to wait to 75. Yeah. Oh, it's eight. <laughs> so I've got, got loads more room to practice and put things out. I, I think I'm working on them at the minute. Like this is my little crafting rotation at the minute. Um, them four, and then at night I will do these ones. Um, because they don't really mix in the resources apart from the gems. I kind of wasted uh, my ascension shards really because I didn't really understand you know, what they were for. So I've got them on a few items, but I have, um, I've tried mastering the daggers. So I'm going down that route just to have certain ones mastered. But I've got quite a few of my spirits and my elements mastered and then same with me, um, my daggers. So uh, my heroes, um, they can use tier, um, tier nines now, but they're not the best, really. I've not really spent a long time in them. Uh, I've got a couple that are all right. I, uh, let me just try and find one. Yeah, I need to work on the skills and the items, really. But this one's got a couple of silvers. Because, um, yeah, I've never reload uh, a skill as well. So if my skills are quite bad or something like that, I will just like retire the hero and then try and get them again. But yeah, with the market as well, I used to do something called flipping. So I'd put in a request for a certain item, buy it cheap, and then I'd sell it for more. And then even with the tax and um, like deduction, I'd still make a profit. And I used to do that with quite a few items because I used to always watch the market really and 
you know, see what items just go up and down, like example the fish mongoler. Um that can differ in price from like eighty K to two hundred and odd K. Since starting watching all your videos and stuff like that. Um I think it was like level thirty or something like that and like two hundred mil net worth and the donations were a lot higher. And uh as you can see I'm level sixty five now and my net worth's uh, gone up quite a bit. I was working on gems to get that extension, but now I think uh, because I've got the eighth, uh, I'm going to focus on upgrading some of my like racks and stuff because um, I think most of them are level four and above. Uh, I just work on my energy really, just so I can start uh, being more efficient because at the minute I think I'm discounting about... Or, I always do small talks, but I'm probably discounting about three or four tier six just to do one tier nine. And like I say, it isn't efficient there uh, at all. And there's like at the minute, that's why my net worth is a lot higher than my investments uh, because I've just been recycling my money basically. So I like once I start discounting and surcharging, I'll, I'll get to like a hundred mil or something and then I'll go on the market, buy all the items again. Uh, I reached 65, I want to slow down on my net worth and try and optimise, like, making money. Uh, because I think the highest amount of gold uh, that I've had or that my items are worth for about uh, 300 mil, maybe, something like that. I've never had no more than 300 mil cash before I reach level 66. That I can um, start more optimising and I'm trying to reach a, about five bill uh, investments at least. So, yeah, I think investments is something to defo focus on because it helps out everyone in the long run. And then, say, if we upgrade a building, then, you know, it increases the crafting time or, um, like, quests. or Every every single building helps, to be honest. So, All right, so let's just pause there for a sec. First of all, this is so weird, like, voicing over and pausing and stuff like that. So... Anyway, this is taking way longer than it should, but it's all good. Uh, super fun, and Stickle's an amazing dude. Great part of community. So basically, what we were talking about at this point is like his gameplay um, was so different from ones that I've seen before. So basically, throughout the day, he's not really crafting or all he has is herbs. He's making uh, like tier four um, elements. And then otherwise, he's just trying to sell tier nines, but discounting like several tier sixes just to get up to the energy. And so his net worth is going up, but he's not making any money. Um, but that's really just been his goal. So he's got from 200 million to 11 billion net worth um, since like a couple months ago, which is awesome. But that's been kind of what he's been doing, but he hasn't had any extra money to actually be able to invest and make money and that sort of thing. So we were talking about, okay, how do we change that? What does this look like? Um, now that you have an extra shop expand, what do we do? So we started putting out um, bins. So we put one of each bin out and we we're looking at uh, what he has mastered and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see here, he talks through it a little bit, but basically what happens, um, he puts one of each uh, bin out and then we go through all of the blueprints and we take out all the tier sixes and tier sevens that he hasn't mastered yet. We find a rotation of four items that he can craft on a consistent basis. And then we put away the tier three resources that he does put out so that he has even more room. And then we talk about him putting three of his chests away as well. So essentially he has one of each resource out so he can craft tier sixes and tier sevens all the time. We talk about him upgrading those over time so that he's able to craft tier eights without putting out more bins. And then at that point, um, just focusing on upgrading racks and he can even add a bunch more like level one racks at this point, just cause he's going to have so much room with everything that we moved around. So that's basically it. He's wanting to change over his game style so that he's able to make more money, craft and sell, um, focus on getting energy up and just be more of a team player and stuff. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's watch the rest of it together. Yeah, I, I do need to work on these even more. Yeah, yeah, because I think my highest is like a Lux item that takes like a thousand energy. And uh, yeah, my energy is only at 1,600, so it's it's over half. And then if I get any backfires, that's taking a good chunk away. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Um, yeah, I accidentally left my chest out since uh, Lost City of Gold. 
uh, just because I was stocking up on the golden artifacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's something I'll be focusing on then. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's working out. And then I could technically put away the gems and the ether for now as well. Yeah, that's what I tend to do. To be honest, use my gold coins for that. So here, this is where we looked at all of his blueprints together and basically chose all the tier sixes and tier sevens that he hadn't um, finished mastering yet. So he was going to focus on crafting these instead of like a handful of tier nines that just felt super choppy and he had to have a ton of benzo for like it just made more sense for him to do that. So what we were talking about with champion coins is that multiple of these use steel. So that's one resource he's going to find himself short on because multiple of them are requiring the same thing. So he's going to start using his guild coins for steel when he runs out. Um, but be rushing crafts to keep his resources down. So that's kind of where we were at here. But getting the gems, um, but apart from that and having that little grind just to get the eighth expansion, uh, I think now that I've got the eighth, I'm going to progress a lot more quicker. And uh, I'm going to take on board on everything that you said as well, because that's going to definitely help me out in the future and then help out my guild and, just become more of a team player with everything and also enjoy playing myself. Yeah, it's no problem. I enjoyed it as well. It's been really good. It has. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That was the end of what we recorded. Anyway, just want to say thank you to Stickle. It's funny because when I was watching through that video, I could see myself in the other video because I had overlaid this one, this webcam over myself, but you could see my lips moving and I'm talking and I'm doing whatever, um, but you obviously can't hear me. So anyway, that was the gist of it. Basically, he decided to start um, mastering items, having one of each bin out, working on uh, energy. What I was talking about towards the end is basically uh, him slowly working his resources to the point that he can craft tier eights with only one of each out. And then after that, focusing on having all of his uh, racks to level six because he just put out like six brand new ones at level one and then he had a ton of them at like level three and level four. So basically what I said is when you get all of them to level six, you probably have like 2,500 energy or more. Like it's gonna be a huge jump up and it won't take long, but that's gonna be your focus. And as you're crafting throughout the day and still selling and selling more efficiently with the lower tiers, you're gonna be making a lot more money, be able to invest more, invest into your own shop and it should go really well. So that was pretty much it. It was actually one of my absolute favorite your shops that we did just because we were actually able to like do things in his shop and switch things around and talk through what he was gonna do and put stuff away in whatever and look at all the blueprints that he hadn't finished yet so it was good but it obviously didn't uh turn out super well but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed anyway hope you get something from it uh and anyway have a great week guys thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon all right peace out